Hello and welcome back everyone. It's Jennifer McGuire and I hope you're having a good week. Today I'm sharing ideas for creating see-through die cut cards. This is a great way to get more out of your dies, especially background dies or layering dies. I know those have a higher price point, so this is a great way to get more life out of them. Now, if you don't have background dies, I'll talk about how you can get these looks with regular dies too. But as you can see in these examples, the cards are actually see-through, but there is a place to write a message in the inside. I have several examples for you, along with some other tips to share along the way. Let's start with this example first. This one features the Hero Arts Butterfly Confetti background die. Now this cuts a piece that is four and a quarter by five and a half with all these little butterfly and dot holes throughout. I'm also using the Memory Box Drifting Side Butterfly die set. This is a beautiful set and I'll show you a few ways to use this in today's video. I'm using my Gemini Junior die cut machine. However, any die cut machine will work. For the butterfly outline die, I'm cutting from black cardstock that has stick it double sided adhesive already on the back of it. It'll just make adhering it easier. For the background butterfly die, I'm just cutting from white cardstock. Now I'll send this through my Gemini Junior. This is a great machine because it's automated, it'll just feed right through for you. While that cuts, I'll show you the other pieces that I've created. Using the Hero Arts Butterfly Confetti Die, I've cut from two pieces of very heavy weight cardstock. This is a 110 pound Nina Classic Crest. Now here I've removed the release paper from the back of our black detail butterfly, and I'm adding it on to the white background. You can see how beautiful the detail is on this. Now I wanted to add color to this very quickly, so I'm just coloring right over it with my Copic markers. It doesn't matter if you color over the black because it's black, it won't show. So I'm just adding some color here. You could use any coloring for this that you wanted to. I just find Copics are very quick for me. We need somewhere for our butterfly to sit on the card. I decided to use die cuts from the Hero Arts Nesting Rounded Rectangle Die Set. This has 16 dies in it, and I've used it quite a bit lately. So I cut four from some pool cardstock, all of the same size, and now it's time to put our see-through card together. So from one of our background die cuts, I'm going to score for about, mm, I would say about an eighth of an inch from the top. So you can see the score that I'm doing there right in my trimmer ledge. And then I will use my bone folder to fold that over and crease it nicely. This will be a little hinge that is on the back of our card, so it allows it to open and close nicely. So here I'm using the bone folder to fold that down nicely, and then I will put some strong double-sided adhesive on this. You could use a strong liquid adhesive, but I find that the 8th inch Be Creative Tape is perfect fit right here. Now at this point there are a few different orders you can do these steps in, but I decided to keep the front and the back separate and start adding our rounded rectangle pieces. We're going to end up having a rounded rectangle piece on both sides of those white butterfly pieces. So I'm starting with the inside of the card. So I'm laying this right into the center of this white piece, that's the back, and this will be where we write our personal message. Now using strong adhesive again, I'm going to add one to the back of that, lining it up perfectly with the one on the other side. This is where we will put the hand stamped by Jennifer message. Here's another rounded rectangle with some adhesive, putting the adhesive face up and lining it up with the one that's on the inside of the card. And now I can lay the front of the card on top, lining up that adhesive on the top and pressing it into that rounded rectangle that has the adhesive exposed. So now we have pieces on all sides of the card except for the front, which we want to decorate a bit. I'm using a sentiment from the Birch Press Sending You Love stamp set. This has great sentiments and you can get the coordinating dies to cut out the large words. I decided to go with Sending Hugs and I'm stamping that towards the bottom of that rounded rectangle that will be on the front of the card, making sure that I have room for our butterfly. And I'm using my Misty so that I can make sure I get a nice crisp sentiment. I find I get better results using the Misty, but you can definitely use an acrylic block if that is what you have. I stamped it with black VersaFine ink, and then I added clear embossing powder and heat set it so it would have some shine. 
Now I can adhere it to the front of my card, lining up with the other rounded rectangles. I've put some foam adhesive on the back of our butterfly, and I'm pressing that down into that open space on the front. I'm covering the butterfly with lots of shimmer using my tonic aqua shimmer pen. And there we have our card. So there is a rounded rectangle on all sides of those white pieces. So you don't see the adhesive showing through. You have a place to write a message inside of the card and even to stamp hand stamp by Jennifer on the back of the card. Now I did cover the black area of the butterfly with morning dew nouveau drops. This just adds some shine, and you'll see me do that on a card later in this video. I really like how this is see-through, but you can still write a message on the inside. Okay, my next example is very similar to the first, but using some different products. Wanted to show you could probably use a lot of things you may have on hand already. This is the Memory Box Delightful Daisy Die. This is such a fun die. I die cut it from white cardstock left it in its negative space and added coloring to it. It's easier to add color to these dainty dyes when you leave them in the negative space. It's kind of like a holding place for it. After I added all of my color, I just removed it from its negative space and now we have a colored die cut. This time I'm using the Hero Arts Flower Confetti Die, which is similar to the butterfly but it cuts small flowers and leaves. And I'll show you another way to use this die later in this video. Here I've die cut four gray die cuts from the rounded rectangles, and I'm adhering one to each side of the two white flower confetti die cut pieces. I'm doing this in a little bit of a different order from the last example, but I wanted to show you can work in this in many different ways. Okay, so I have the rounded rectangle on both sides of the two white pieces, and now it's time to add the score line to the top of the back die cut. It's about an eighth of an inch from the top. I did a little score line. And I'm using my bone folder to really crease it nicely. Then I'll put some double-sided tape onto that little flap. Again, you could use liquid adhesive if that's what you have. And then I can add the front panel onto the back panel. Now, if you don't have a background die to cut all these little holes, you could find a tiny little die in one of your background die sets that you may have and repeatedly die cut it to create your own see-through background. But these background dies are definitely easier to use. I used liquid adhesive to add my flower to the front of the card, and now I need to cut a little sentiment strip. I used the My Favorite Things Hearts in a Row die set to cut some little sentiment strips just makes it very easy to have pre-cut strips. I tried a few different sentiments. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. And I decided to go with Just Because from the Memory Box Wireworks Heart Stamp Set, which I'll show you a little bit later in this video. I'm using some foam tape to add this right across the center, leaving the sentiment very simple since there's so much going on on this card. I added a very thick layer of gold nouveau glitter drops to the center of both of the flowers to give it lots of texture and shine. This card is very similar to the card that I did at the beginning, but I wanted to show you you could use any kind of die cuts in the center of the card. Also you may have noticed that the matching envelopes that I'm using for today's cards I've stamped with the right at home stamp set called the Happy Mail Year 3. This has some fun sentiments that are great for envelopes. I like the please do not crumble, recycle, or toss. I worked hard on this. So I use this throughout the video. Okay, next I have another example, but this time my see-through card is created with layering dies. I really like layering dies. In fact, I've done many videos on them, and I'll link to that here. This is the Birch Press Cherish Layering Die. Now this die set comes with the three dies that cut these three different backgrounds. These are four and a quarter by five and a half on the outside edge. And you can see the stitching detail that two of the dies provide. Now you can use these dies separately or you can layer them up to get a really cool look. Now this does have a higher price point because there are three large background dies. So I wanted to be sure to share some examples with you today to show you how you can get more from these die sets. I'm also using the Memory Box Have a Heart die set. These are tall hearts that fit nicely on the front of cards. Now I've cut the Cherish background dies from three shades of pool cardstock. Now the die cut that has the most open heart area, I'm putting adhesive on the back, 
and I'll adhere that to the second background die cut. Now the third background die cut I'm not going to adhere. This is going to be the back of my card. I'm adding a heart to the back of this and to the front of this so that the back of our card is ready. This time I'm using liquid adhesive instead of double-sided tape and it works great. Now it's time to do the front of our card. Now for this I'm using a sentiment from the Create a Smile Twice Hello dies. This cuts two hellos, one is solid and one has like this double outline and I'll adhere these together. I'm also using a small sentiment from the Simon Says Stamp Crafty Friends stamp set. This stamp set is so much fun, a lot of clever little sentiments in here that you can use on the back of your cards, your envelopes, or on the cards themselves. I decided to use the hugs and clothes sentiment. So I have my layered hello die cut and I'm adhering it onto one of my white hearts. I decided to use my T-ruler so I could glue this on straight. So I use my T-ruler in addition to the grid on my work surface. This is really helpful in making things straight. Next, I'm going to stamp the hugs enclosed right underneath the Hello die cut. And I'm doing this with black ink. Now we can put our card together, and I'm doing it just like I did my last example, but using liquid adhesive to save some time. So in my last example, I used two background die cuts that were exactly the same. This time I'm using the layered die cuts. So the front of the card has two layered pieces. The back is the third piece. So that when the card is closed, you can see all those layers and it is such a fun look. After you've done your die cutting, this card doesn't take much time to put together. I'm adding my little score line to the top of the back piece and I will put down my strong adhesive right along that little hinge and then add this to the front panel of the card. And that's it for this card. The die cutting adds so much detail that you really don't need to add anything else to it. The heart die cuts provide a place to write your message on the inside and on the back of the card. I did add Morning Dew Nouveau Drops to the outline die cut of the Hello for a little bit of added shine. It's amazing how that little touch that doesn't take long to do adds so much to the card. And you can see how the layering background dies really work great with the see-through card technique. And again, I stamped my matching envelope using that right at home stamp set that I showed you earlier. Okay, so my next example also uses some layering background dies, and I wanted to show you how I created the front of this card too. I used the Memory Box Tree Blossom Stitched Circle Frame die, and this has a lot of sweet detail to it. I die cut three from pink cardstock, and I'm adhering them together so that I end up with a dimensional die cut that's nice and solid. I also found a circle die that is slightly larger, and I die cut four pieces from pink cardstock. This will end up on all sides of our cards. Let's get our card together now. I used the Birch Press Avalon Layering Die Set. This was one of my favorites from last year on my favorite crafty things. It's a beautiful layering die set. This actually adds more detail than most layering dies because each layer is so different. So again, you can use them separately or together. But be sure to take a close look at the finished card picture because the detail of this is so much fun. Again, this cuts pieces that are four and a quarter by five and a half, so perfect to create a card. I was gonna go with pink, but decided to go with white. So I cut from white cardstock each of the layering. I am adding adhesive to the back of the first layer and adhering it to the second layer. But again, that third layer I'm keeping separate, that'll end up being the back of our card. I went ahead and adhered the four pink circle die cuts onto both sides of both of the white background pieces. Again, I made sure to line them up just like I did on the last examples. Here I'm adding onto the front of the card the stitched circle frame that we created. Onto the back panel, I'm doing the score line at the top, reinforcing it and adding a strong piece of double-sided tape onto the hinge, and then we can add the front of the card onto it. So again, I have two of the layers of the background die that form the front of the card, and those are glued together. Then the third layer of the background die forms the back of our card. And we have those circle die cuts all lined up so that everything is hidden and we have a place to write our message on the inside. I added a simple hello white die cut from that Create a Smile Hello die set that I used earlier and added a few pearls to the front too. 
I really wanted to keep this simple since there's so much going on with that beautiful layered background. This is probably my favorite example, and again, it didn't take too long to put together, so I plan to make more just like this, but change the sentiment on each. Okay, now for this example, actually the main element of the card is the see-through part instead of the background. For this one, I used a birch press layering die set called the Fiori Hearts. This again has three dies, but they're heart-shaped, and they can be layered together to create beautiful details or you can use them separately if you want, but I'll be using all three layers today. Okay, so I have a top folding four and a quarter by five and a half inch white note card, and I took one of the negative spaces from my heart die cut, and I'm centering it up on the front of my card. I'm using my T-ruler just to make sure that it's centered and straight. Once I have it positioned just right, I'll use my pencil to trace on the inside. Now we need to cut out the center of this heart but not right up against the pencil. That's why I'm not using the die to do this. I'm going to cut just inside of the pencil line. So I end up with a little ledge around the inside of my heart. So I just kind of pierce right through the center of the heart, which sounds just brutal, and then cut around the inside. And when I'm done, I have this heart cut, but you can see it's just inside of the pencil line. Next, I can erase the pencil line and we can put our heart together. Okay, so I have the middle layering heart die cut here, and I'm putting liquid adhesive on the outside edge. This will get glued to the back of our heart window. That's why we cut our window a little bit smaller, so it would have that ledge for this heart die cut to adhere to. Next, I can take the front heart and put adhesive all over the back. Liquid adhesive really is easy for this, and this one will get glued to the front of our card. Now the third heart layering die cut would get glued to the inside of the card, lining up with the front. So to write our message on this card, we would just want to write below this heart die cut. So here I'm lining it up with the front of the card and then closing the back of the card onto it. This will make sure that they all line up nicely. Now since these die cuts add so much detail as is, I kept the rest of the card very simple. I added a Create a Smile layered hello die cut to the front, and also some Lucy Cards pool gems. I thought those added a nice touch too. You can write your message on the inside below that main heart, and there you have a version of a see-through card where the main element is see-through instead of the background. Okay, my next example is a little bit different. On this one, the front of the card is see-through, but the back is not, so it's just another variation. I'll just show this one very quickly. For this one, I used the Memory Box Wirework Heart Stamp Set. I used the sentiments on this earlier in the video, but this time I'm going to use that main heart. I just think it's so much fun. I decided to use some watercolor with that main heart, so I'm using Hero Arts Liquid Watercolors. You could use any watercolors. I'm just really having fun with these lately, and I used them in a video recently, and I'll link to that here so you can learn more about them if you're interested. I have white heat embossed that heart onto watercolor paper, and I'm just applying some of the watercolor over it very quickly, allowing the colors to blend to get a rainbow look. Now the white embossing resists the colors on top so that the pattern will still show through. Once it's dry, I cut it out, and I'll use this element on the front of our card. Now for the card itself, I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch white cardstock piece. I created the hinge on the top, just like I showed you before, put some adhesive on it, and here I'm gluing the front of the card onto it. Now the front of the card was created with one of the Cherish Heart layering dies that I showed you earlier in this video. So the front of this card is see-through. Now you'll notice there are a lot of open areas on that front panel. So you want to use a heavyweight cardstock to make sure that it's not too flimsy. I use Nina Classic Crest in 110 pound. That's a nice, very heavy weight cardstock. I've added a large white heart die cut to the inside of the card, and now I can add my watercolor heart to the front. Now the sentiment I chose on this card is from that Simon Says Stamp Crafty Stamp Set that I showed you earlier, and I thought it fit perfectly with this. I also added another white heart die cut to the inside of the card so I know where I can write my personal message without the rest of it showing through on the front of the card. So there you have an option of making the front of your card see-through instead of the whole card. 
Okay, now before we go, I wanted to show you one more bonus card. Now this isn't a see-through card, however, I used some of the products that I've used throughout this video in a different way, so I wanted to include it. So here I used the Hero Arts Flower Confetti background die, and I trimmed a little bit off each side, so it's slightly smaller than a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. I'm gluing this onto the front of a white note card. This is top folding, and again, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going for just a white monochromatic background here. Now you see all those little pieces left over on the side? You can put those in a shaker window or do whatever you want, but what I'm doing is gluing them on top of the other openings on the card, but a little bit different position. So I end up with some fun layering the background. I'll end up with some layered flowers and doubled up leaves. It takes a few, little bit of time, but look at that background. It's so much fun. I was watching the Olympics and it was the perfect way to spend my time. Next, let's create this full butterfly from that side butterfly die that I used earlier in this video. Again, I used black cardstock with stick it adhesive on the back. I cut it once from the black cardstock with adhesive on the back. But then I cut it once upside down. The one you see here has this stick it adhesive on the top. So what I'll end up with is the flip or the mirror image die cut. So we can put them together to create a full butterfly. I also die cut two white background pieces. So I'm doing the same thing that I did before. I'm adhering the black onto the white and then I will put the two pieces together and color them with Copic markers. It's easy to put the two pieces together, the two sides of the butterfly together. You just overlap the body of the butterfly and it works perfect to form a full butterfly. I really like to find ways to get new looks for my die cuts. And I like that this one allows you to do a side or full butterfly. I added the Copic coloring to this and then put it on the front of our white flower card. I created a sentiment strip using the Birch Press Sending You Love stamp set. This handmade hug sentiment is fantastic and really works with any handmade card that you create. So you'll see me use this one again in the future. Now on the final card, I added lots of shimmer with my Aqua Shimmer Pen to the butterfly so that it'd be nice and sparkly. Here you can get a closer look at that floral background where I used the little bits from the die cut to layer on top of each other, just for lots of texture and dimension. Okay, so there you have it, some ways to use your dies to create see-through cards. I hope this inspires you. You can find the supplies below in my YouTube description if you're interested, but go to my blog to learn much more. In the middle are two other videos you might like. One shows five ways to use background dies creatively, and the other shows some fun ways to use layering background dies. Thanks for spending time with me. Have a great week, and we'll see you soon.